Alright. Hello everyone uh, from Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. This is our latest episode of The Don't Grumpy Owl and Tanya Show. Howdy folks, how are y'all doing out there? Welcome to our brand new episode. And we got some new songs for you tonight. And everybody's been asking me and her of what our new songs will be. So tonight, we're going to show y'all what's new songs. We're going to try with a, a song that I've listened to recently. And it's a good one. It's called When You're in Love with a Beautiful Woman by a group called Dr. Hook. Here it goes. <laughs> actually both of our favorites and we've been doing this for a few weeks or at least once a week I don't know this is the song we're going to do and it's by the Eagles one of our favorites is called love will keep us alive and believe me I listen to this song many times at work and in here and that's why I love playing this song and uh, anyway here it goes all right 
songs that we did the other day and it's a good one it's by a uh, bad company one of the top 10 songs somewhere in the 1970s somewhere around there from the album called straight shooter and 
I've been practice, practicing this song for a few days, and please all bear with us while we sing it. It's called Feel Like Making Love, and here's how it goes. Alright, sounded great folks, 
Please forgive me. Uh, we'll do better, I think. But we did good. I think. Yeah, we all did good. Before we get before we begin to the next song, forgive me. I'm a little nervous about tonight. There's something I want to tell y'all that today would have been my 16th year since I started playing music, and it would have been my 16th year. Although I retired from music back in December, but I'm starting off a new chapter, playing music for church, and that's the only reason I will be coming out of retirement to play music at church, and that's all there is. But anyway, before I begin to close the show, let's just go to the song, well, which I will play after these songs. I just want to play the ones that I've written over the years for, since I've wrote it actually over 15 years ago but we'll get to that later but the next song we're going to be doing it's one of my favorites and my wife's favorite as well and i've been saving this for for last i think no wait a minute, we got one more song after that but anyway we're going to do this billy auto song and everyone everyone Y'all get ready for this and dance with this song because she would be dancing too. Well, yeah. Okay. We're all gonna be rocking and rolling with this song right here. It's called White Wedding. All right, here we go. Uh, sorry, folks. Just a little problem there. I guess I danced too much. All right. We're gonna be good. Keep going. Here we go.
nice day for a quiet way. Well, forgive us, folks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Forgive us for the little noise earlier, but we'll keep on rolling as we speak. All right. This is a song that my wife wrote to me. I didn't write this; she did. But although I had to add a little words to it, but it sounds great. So this song will be on our new album called "I Only Want You," and.、Um, We'll be recording sometime this May and get done at the end of summer or fall. We'll keep you all up there on that. And, you, can,、uh, you can probably hear my son in the background, so that's my son. So yeah, <laughs> he's he's the only audience we got, folks. <laughs>、yeah. And、yeah. for those who you're watching at home, you're all our audiences. That's right. Yes. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you're watching up there.、Yes. And if you all want to make a donation, now's a good time. Uh, five dollars or two dollars, whichever you you may know the rest. Anyway, we'll get to the new song that my wife wrote for me, and it's a good song. I practiced it and I come up with the words. She wrote the music. I wrote. She wrote the song. I wrote the music, and hopefully it'll make sense, which it does. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this song. It's called "When You Came Into My Life," and this is how it goes. All right. When you came into my life, because I found you, I know when I look into your eyes, we would have a life. We are meant to be together forever. You're my friend. Song thanks to my wife, which I hope will be a number one hit one day. Wow! Yeah, he's the true genius. That's right, and、know. she, yeah, <laughs> he's the true genius. True genius. She's the songwriter. I just trust the words. He's the true genius. That's true, folks.、Yeah. Okay, I got one more song before I close tonight's episode, and don't forget, 
Next month will be a great episode. Don't forget about that because oh, yeah. we have some uh, songs we're thinking about doing. Uh, there's a little list we'll look at right there. Uh, All right. <laughs> right here. Um, okay. On the next episode, some songs we're thinking about we might do will be the Only Brother songs. When I'm away from you, great song. And um, Never Ending Love, love that song. And let's see, Meat Love, 2 out of 3 ain't bad, great classic song. And maybe some Dwight Yoakam, who knows, and Russell's Heart, who knows. This the songs we're thinking of, if y'all have any ideas, message us. We'll be glad to try to do it for you. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I'm going to step out of the way and let my genius hubby do one of his original songs. Uh, all right. You, what were you gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say, actually, I was gonna say, uh, if you all have a song or a request, please feel free to message me or my wife. We'll be happy to play for you on the new upcoming episode next month. All right. Okay. All right. Is this thing on? Of course, it's on. Okay. <laughs> Just a little humor, folks. Well, today would have been my 16th year in the music business. Although, 16 years ago today, I started playing at a talent show, singing the Star Spangled Banner. And it was a uh, first annual talent show back in tw uh, 2007. And look at me now, 16 years later. I'm still rocking. Got these new cool jackets and jeans and the way I used to be back when I was in high school. But don't worry, folks. If y'all want me to play in a show or anywhere or I'll be happy to play in any show, just ask me and let my wife know and I'll be happy to attend. Or you can ask us to attend, whichever. Anyway, just let us know. All right, this very first song I've written over 15 years ago. It took place in my very old house back at Willow Street when I was a sophomore at high school. I was drinking over 180 bottles, well, not every day, of IBC's Black Cherry Bottles. And I would usually get those at the store every time. And at where it used to be the food line years ago, which is now the IGA. Anyway, at, every day, before I ever get home to school, I would start drinking them one by one. And then many days or a few weeks later, I collected them in, in a cardboard or the outside porch of my old house. And I was thinking, why not sell them? But unfortunately, uh, this state doesn't sell bottles. Other states are, but not in this state, I think. Anyway, this song brings me back memories. And I, this one came into my head 16 years ago. And I want to play this song for you right now. And everyone at CPG's or Kevin, Christy, and, you know, the ones that love my song the most, actually, man, with Kevin's favorite song. Hope this will be on your menus at the, at CPG's because, yeah. This will be a great song for all of you. And for the others as well. And my wife, of course. Although she supports me, that's the reason I married her, because she supports me, and she loves me, and luckily she found me. And we're happily married. The other day we celebrate our seven-month wedding anniversary, and this coming Tuesday will be our year, one full year of being together. And she can tell you the rest, but... But we'll tell you that on our upcoming episode. But anyway, I want to share y'all with this song. This is the very first song I've recorded and written on my first album called Ravio R. Soriano. And if y'all want to have a copy of my CD, let me know. It's still for sale. Might make more copies in the future. And I don't want to keep y'all waiting or keep y'all bored or whatever. But anyway, I want to share y'all with this song I've heard over 15 years ago. And it's called Black Cherry Blues. And everyone, here it is. Here we go. I was only and the baby on the first day 
went to the cage and got me some black cherry. I drunk some that day, and I drunk some every day. I'm so glad I got out of that lonesome blues. Black cherry blues. Black cherry blues. It makes me feel happy. I wasn't lonely anymore. I'm so glad I got out. Of that black cherry blues, the ones and blues. I was drinking every day. It brought me back to good old days. I was so lonely until I got my black cherry. Oh, yes, sir, it was good that day. I was, I was once sad, of course, but I'm feeling so glad, folks. And I'm so glad I got out of that lonesome blues. The lonesome blues. Here we go. Black cherry blues. Black cherry blues. It makes me feel happy I wasn't lonely anymore. I'm so glad I got out. Of that black cherry blues, no lonesome blues. I'm so happy that I got my black cherry. I'm drinking it every day. I'm so glad I got all of that. Dog on lonesome Saturdays. I'm so glad I got out of that lonesome blues. So lonesome blues, here we go, everybody. Black cherry blues. Black cherry blues. It makes me feel happy. I wasn't lonely anymore. I'm so glad I got out of that black cherry blues. I'm so glad I got out of that black cherry blues. I'm so glad I got out of the black cherry blues. All right. I think that's the end of our episode. And I would like to ask my wife to come up here, if you don't mind. She will be close to the show. Announcements, of course. All right, that was great. That was great. Um, be sure to tune in on our next episode. Um, that will be coming up sometime in April. Um, I'm not sure the exact date, but he'll keep you posted on Facebook. So just tune in to Facebook, and we'll let you know the date that will be on the time. And I hope you all enjoy our songs. And please excuse uh, our miss ups, but that's just live show. But you know, that's just live songs and everything. But anyway, we have fun doing this. I love singing with my husband here. I love it. And I, and I love the song she writes. Well, I just feel I just write what's in my heart. No and I'm feeling it about him because he's such a sweetheart. Yeah, you're a sweetheart. And I love him so much. And I just write what I'm feeling in here paper he comes up with the music part which is the hardest part of it and we spread a song but i love singing with him he loves singing with me we just love doing this for fun and i hope y'all enjoyed it so we hope y'all have a good evening anything you want to add uh yes um if you all want to become a fan follow us on our tiktok and the username is lowercase r as in Rafael R. Antonio 2023, or follow us to our Facebook page called the Rafael R. Antonio Show fan page. Put the show logo on it, and we'll keep you all updated for more shows and sample songs. All right, anything you want to add? Um, all right, this is, uh, I'm sorry. Just, I'm so grateful I have this guy in my life. We're happily married, and I just love him so much. <laughs> All right. And I can't think of anything else to say. So. All right, folks. This is our uh, brand new episode of The Rocky R. And Tanya Show. 
You all have a good night, folks, and stay safe, and see you all in the mid-season finale. You all take care now, you hear?